So a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening, depending on where you are around the world. And welcome to the first of many Mindset Mondays. A big shout to Shannon Hughes. Can we just put a one in the chat box for, for Miss Shannon Hughes, our esteemed leader um, of the group. Absolutely amazing. You know, we had a chat in Las Vegas. Just put a one, one, one for Shannon Hughes. We had a chat in Las Vegas and we said that, no, no, we need to bring back Mindset Mondays because we were in, an, in another company together and, you know, uh, it's easy to make money. Anyone can make money, right? Any fool can win the lottery. But, you know, 80% of lottery millionaires, they, they lose all their wealth in about five years, right? It's the mindset. That's the real power, right? Just put a 222 in the chat box if you agree with me that having the right mindset is what changes someone from just being rich to being wealthy. Right. And that's why we're here to have the right mindset. We say that trading is 90 percent mindset. And that's why we had these mindset calls. Right. So we, we kind of reminded each other of that. And then, you know, we came up with the, the decision to have these mindset Mondays. There's going to be different speakers. So don't worry, guys. It's not going to be me every single week. OK, you're going to have different speakers from around the world delivering the most um, life changing trainings. So I really want you to just make this a permanent feature. Can we do that right now? Can we just put in our, can we take action and just make sure in our calendars, we have put it's Mindset Mondays, put it as a, as a reminder, a weekly reminder that you're going to jump on. And not all calls are going to be long. Some will be 20 minutes. Some will be half an hour. These calls are designed to be sharp and to the point and to really, if it's the only call that you have each and every single week, I promise you, you are going to be blessed. So guys, let me dive straight in very, very quickly. I'm just going to intro introduce myself just for those people um, who have never met me so that we're not strangers. My name is, is, is Des Finance. I go by Des Finance. I'm an icon 15 on this platform. Um, I have several traditional businesses, but my background in summary can be described as being in finance. And I had a whole nother life in education. Have a look at this picture right here. This is me when I was a school teacher. This was taken about 15 years ago, guys. You know, don't let the boyish looks fool you. I've, 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 uh, I've been around the block, <laughs> so to speak. And, um, you know, I love my job. I love working with, with young people. Have you ever heard that it's a rewarding profession? It's true. It's just not very well paid. And I ended up living paycheck to paycheck. I ended up living, um, you know, month to month. Can anyone relate? Just put a three if you've ever lived paycheck to paycheck. If you've ever had a text message like this from your bank, I used to get, this is a real text from my bank, telling me I'm broke and all of these kind of things. I was living in my overdraft. I was juggling maxed out credit cards. I had multiple loans. I didn't have enough money to draw 10 pounds out the bank. And I had to get a friend to transfer me one pound 85. Can anyone relate to what I'm saying? Just put a three, 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 if you can relate to that feeling of being broke. And then I decided enough is enough. Guys, doesn't it get to a point, <laughs> you know, the pain of staying the same has to be greater than the pain of change. <laughs> oh, guys, I've got one rule. If it stings, who's it meant for? Someone let me know. If you're, if you're a regular on my trainings, if I say something and it stings, who is it meant for? Who is it meant for? It's meant for you. Okay. If something stings, it's meant for you. Okay. Enough is enough. Um, when my daughter was born, I realized that I had to make a change. You know, you get those life-defining moments. I don't think anything is greater than, you know, becoming a parent. And, and, and you know, this is a parent for the second time. And I said, no, enough is enough. This is what I want you to write down. Oh, by the way, where are my note takers? Put a one in the chat box if you are making notes right now, because otherwise you are playing yourself. That You only retain a very small percentage of information. We have to take notes. And this, guys, did I mention... Thank you. I can see my note takers. Thank you. So I see you, Esther. Let's go. Guys, if you can turn on your cameras, I'd appreciate it. There's something about, about being a speaker. We connect with our audience, right? It, it, it actually fires me up when I see people on the Zoom. So if you can turn on your camera, it will make this presentation way better. If you can't, then I, I respect that. Okay. However, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, did I mention that this training is going to be outstanding, by the way? <laughs> did I mention that? This is probably one of my best trainings. So if you are not taking notes, I'm not I'm not hyping my presentation when I tell you it's life-changing. I'm not doing I'm not here to hype you. 
Okay. So please make sure you're having notes. But for things to change, I have to change. And I'm not even talking about, yes, we can make money through trading. Just take that as a given because we know it works, right? Those of you that are networking, we know it works. You know, we all know multi-millionaire traders. We all know multi-millionaire networks. Put that to one side. For things to change, this has to change. That's why we do these calls, okay? For things to change, we have to change, okay? If you've not already read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, make sure you read it. It's what changed the game for me. It's what really helped me to understand money and residual income and passive income. Guys, imagine having multiple sources of passive income, money that you're making whilst you're sleeping, enjoying compound interest, leverage, making money from money and having multiple sources of income, okay? This is what we're striving towards and this is what being part of this platform enables you to have, okay? So, you know, once I had read the book, I joined this industry that you are part of. The, the networking and trading industry allowed me to become completely financially independent. And I don't say that to impress you. I don't need to do that. I, honestly, that's not my heart. I will never boast. But I do say certain things to impress on you how powerful what we have really is. The trading, the networking, and the mindset, the personal development, it's life-changing. It's changed my whole life beyond recognition. I've been able to retire my mom, send my kids to amazing schools, have multiple businesses now. This all started with being a broke school teacher and getting the mindset. I'm the founder of one of the biggest education companies in the UK. I have a ch children's, um, ch uh, day, uh, day children's care home uh, business, a charity helping to reduce violent crime. Of course, my trading and crypto business. Um, uh, an investment company with um, an AUM of over 20 million pounds. Um, and of course, I'm, a, I'm an icon 15. And again, I don't say this to impress you, but I do say it to impress on you how you can go from being, from having text messages from the bank saying how broke you are to not being able to take 10 pounds um, out of the um, cash machine to having all of these businesses, living in a nice house, driving fancy cars, and ensuring that my kids have the very... In, in essence, guys, it's about having choices. Having more money is about being able to make better choices, like being able to smash my alarm clock. I'm now able to wake up when I finish sleeping, to go to bed when I feel tired. That's what this industry has done for me. Being able to retire my mom back to Ghana, where we're originally from. My children, it's my children on the screen, all three of them. And I'm able to give them the very best education and the very best health care, right? And this is what is so important, okay? Who, who agrees with me on that statement that giving our kids the best education, the best health care is very important? Just put a two, two, two in the chat box. For, for parents here, our children are our why. It's why we do what we do. You know, through this platform, I've been able to build schools in West Africa. Okay, I'm not going to play you the whole video, but this is, um, you know, Shannon remember this. Shannon was in Ghana with me at the time when I, I fled off. I left the gang and I fled off for the grand opening of our latest school. Um, I'm not going to play the speech, but it made me do a speech to the whole community. This was on Easter Monday when they should have been at home on holidays, but they came in for this. And this is the power of the platform that we have. We're able to impact lives. In 2022, myself, Shannon, Tamer, and, and a few of the leaders on the platform, we went on a worldwide tour impacting people with mindset, with blockchain, with how to make multiple sources of passive income. And I want to leave you with this message. Manifestation is real. You can transform your whole life and literally become the director of your own movie. You can live that life that you know you're capable of. Who believes that they're capable of living that life that you have in your head. Put a free, free, free in the chat box if you believe that you are capable. Because I'm your mediocre mentor. Not because I'm average, but because I challenge mediocrity in your life. Do not live a mediocre life. Guys, life is too precious. Who agrees with me? Put a one in the chat box if you know in your soul we only get one shot at this. Why are we playing small when we can live the life that you know you are capable of? 
okay, that you know that you are capable of. So let me just give you a quick rundown as to my journey with the subconscious. Before I do that, guys, I want you to know, to those of you that are looking for a title, <laughs> I know some of you, you know, you love titles. So this is a title of this. Sometimes I launch into a training. I don't know if you give the title. This is a training right here. Millionaire Mindset, The Power of the Mind. My super power. I described it on Thursday. Was it Thursday night? When I described this, I said it was my super power. And I want to give that to you today. Guys, I want to give it to you unfiltered. It's not one of those trainings where I leave you hanging. Now, I want to give you everything, okay? I want you to leave here knowing that now you either have the power or you're on the beginning of your journey to having the power, okay? So all of that being said, let me just tell you quickly about my journey with that subconscious, you, I've already mentioned that I joined this industry in 2018. I joined to learn how to trade. <laughs> but guess what happened, guys? Um, I got so much more than I bargained for. <laughs> Can anyone relate to that statement? That you joined learning to trade. Put a one. If you join this platform learning to trade, but you got more than you bargained for. I wasn't ready for what happened to me. I, Guys, I joined my first company to make a few hundred bucks a month. That was it, guys. I was just trying to take the pressure off of my bills. I wasn't trying to become a multimillionaire. I'll be lying if I told I had big dreams. And of course, I like everybody else. I had big dreams. But I joined my first platform to make an extra free. If I could make an extra 500 a month, honestly, guys, I was over the moon. And then the company introduced me to what we call personal development or power of the mind, mindset, manifestation sometimes referred to as the law of attraction. I wasn't ready for this journey that I was on. And I was on this journey. I had an upline for some time and he was getting me to do my, you know, make sure you're grateful in the mornings. Make sure you listen to personal development or you read a book that I've suggested. Make sure you do your affirmations. And I was doing it like a robot, right? I don't know if anyone can relate. I was on level two of the learning journey, right? There's four levels, I'll go into it later. I was on level two where I was, um, consciously, I was no sorry. Level three, I was con consciously competent. Level three, I was con consciously competent. I was doing it, but I wasn't really connecting with it in a big way. And then in 2020, something crazy happened. My company had a company convention in East London, in the Excel of East London. And everyone knows I'm East London through and through. And to have a convention in my backyard, it was mind blowing. And guess who the guest speaker was? None other than Bob Proctor. If you know Bob Proctor, show some love in the chat box. If you don't know, you better get to know. <laughs> I can see Peggy nodding profusely, right? If you do not know Bob Proctor, then you need to get to know. May his soul rest in perfect peace. I saw him before he passed away and his speech blew me away. And he said something that blew me away. I want you to write this down. I didn't understand perfectly what he meant, but it started a, a four-year journey that ended last year. He said, the subconscious mind doesn't know if you're lying or telling the truth. Wow. I said, what's this guy, what's this guy talking about? What, like, it was a whole new area. Remember, I, I grew up in a part of the world where we don't talk about this kind of stuff. It, you know, there's a danger of thinking that this kind of stuff is mumbo jumbo. Right? Who knows somebody like that? Just put a, put a two in the chat box. If you know people like that, that think this kind of stuff is mumbo jumbo, right? Do you know anyone? Oh, it's just me. Is it just my circle then? It's just me. Okay, no problem. I can work with that, right? There are people like that, okay? If you don't want to put numbers in the chat box, you can uh, raise your hand. There's a feature on Zoom where you can raise your hand. I don't mind doing that, but I do like interaction, okay? It, some people think it's mumbo jumbo. Guys, if you're on this Zoom and you're of that mindset, honestly, you're playing yourself. I need you to be open-minded for the rest of this um training because it's life-changing if... You buy into it. That's the key. You have to believe this to be true and to be a science. When he said that, it started something. The subconscious mind doesn't know if, it, if, if we're lying or telling the truth. Now, I kind of struggled with my journey, but still did everything. And then Mexico, the EA convention in Mexico, September last year, we had a speaker that blew my mind. I'm not going to go into detail because time is pressing. But he said something. And then everything clicked 
I understood the subconscious so much more. My whole life opened up and I believe I was reborn. I was given a purpose. And that purpose that I was given on that day, the 4th of September, 2023, was that now that I have this superpower, I'm on a mission to teach this. Remember, I'm a teacher at my core, to teach this around the world and to spread this message through no financial gain of my own. I'm self-funded. When I tour, I self-fund. But it's to spread this message of manifestation and of the subconscious mind. And at the basis of all of this is faith. Okay? I finally got to the fourth level of learning. Who knows what the fourth level of learning is, by the way? Extra brownie points if you know the fourth level of learning. Anyone know? The fourth level of learning. I finally got to the fourth level of learning. Guys, my top tip, if you unconsciously, I think that's meant to say, <laughs> unconsciously competent, autopilot. When you're driving your car, do you still have to go mirror, signal, maneuver? Or is it autopilot, right? There's certain things you just need to get to the fourth level of. People that hate the gym. I used to hate the gym. Now I'm at the fourth level of learning with the gym. I'm on autopilot. Find a way to fall in love with the gym. That's a nugget. You can have that one for free. Honestly, it's powerful. But that being said, unconsciously competent is where we need to get to in our journey. And I believe for a lot of you, that journey is going to start today. Some of you are halfway through your journey. Maybe something will click today. I believe that it will. Okay, so that being said, study Bob Proctor, guys. Put that in your notes. I want you to study this man. Study, write this down. Study the law of vibration. Because I'm not covering that today. Maybe someone else will cover it on their session. I'm covering the subconscious mind. But if you want to study the law of vibration, you can thank me later. Shall I give you my bank account details so you can bless me when, you, when you've discovered the law of vibration? <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be rushing to do that. Okay, I want you to write this down before I dive in. Who's getting value so far, by the way? Just put a 444 four, four if you're getting any kind of value. If you're getting any kind of value, just put a 444. Four, four. Okay, I want you to write this down. I want you to write this down. The conscious, there's two minds. We've got the conscious mind and we've got the subconscious mind. I want you to know your mind is split in two. You've got your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And I want you to write this. The conscious mind... The conscious mind commands. That's the command. The conscious mind commands. And the subconscious mind implements. <laughs> it implements. Okay. It implements. So what does that tell us? I'm trying to keep everything on the screen so I can see you, see the chat, see everything. Okay, amazing. Okay, so what does that tell us now that we know that? Okay, it tells us this, that we are the architects of our lives. Every moment of life we create our reality. Okay, we are the architects of our lives. Every moment of life, every moment of life we create our reality. We're the architects. Does that, am I hitting someone? Because sometimes it doesn't feel like you're the architect, right? It feels like life happens to us, but it doesn't, we're in control. There comes a time when we have to take control of this thing called life. We have to jump in the driving seat and become the director of our movie. And it's not when we choose our future profession, our partner or a house for a happy family life, but much earlier, we do it consistently when we're thinking. So what does that mean? It means that we are not passive, observers but active participants in reality moreover we can influence it and create a new one i hope that hit somebody okay we can create a new reality and the key to these opportunities is our subconscious mind it fulfills wishes it heals it provides wealth and success. We need to check our usual way of thinking to access this power. Bright thoughts produce beautiful results, while dark ones attract difficulty and rough patches. Just so that I can check what kind of room I'm in, what I've said so far, 
who who kind of who, who kind of knew that already? Just put a two in the chat box if you're kind of already aware of that. Just so that I can see the kind of room that I'm in. I can see the kind of room that I'm in. If you knew that, so I can see the kind of room. Okay, brilliant. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Absolutely incredible. Every thought that we have today is the result of what we thought yesterday or, you know, in, in the loose sense of the term. If you only knew how powerful your subconscious mind was, you would be afraid to think negatively. You'd be afraid to think negatively. That seems straightforward, right? So what's the challenge? What's the challenge of that? You know, we just have to think positive, right? And then, you know, everything's going to be all good. So what's the challenge? Let me look at the chat box. What's the challenge with that? Because I've just said, just think positive and everything's going to be okay. What's the challenge? What's some of the challenges? Let me know in the chat. What are the challenges of just trying to be positive all the damn time? Is it easy? Is it easy? I know some people are typing. Okay. Is it easy? Of course, it's, it's, it's not easy. Life will have problems. You've got a problem solve. Sometimes we're fearful. Has anyone been fearful of a situation? Put a one if you've ever been fearful, right? Doubts and fears. Thank you, Zulema. Right? You overthink. Who, who knows an overthinker? Who knows an overthinker? I live with one. Overthinks everything. Oh, why did he put the, the tomato ketchup in the fridge like that? Maybe he's trying to say something. Maybe he's trying to say, I've got to catch up. I don't know. Right? These overthinkers are crazy. Right? But I, I, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Right? Life challenges. Right? We're fearful. We, we can be angry. Someone ever cut you up? Right? Driving. You don't know anyone who gets road rage? Ah, I don't. I look at people with road, road rage and I'm just like, why are you stressing yourself out? That person's going to go on with their day and there you are getting yourself all stressed out. Envy. We can become envious. We can become resentful. It affects us. Okay, I see some people own it. I love it when people own things, right? When you own it. Right? We, come on, we know that. We've been there, right? Let me tell you a story. It's folklore. It's folklore, but I believe this to be true because I know how powerful the subconscious mind is. Imagine there was once a man who was finishing late at work. He was the last one at work. And it was one of those restaurants with the big, you know, those big um, open freezers. So he's finishing work and he walks into the freezer to put something back and then the door slams behind him. So he panics. He's like, oh my God, I'm going to freeze to death. So he's panicking. That His phone's not working. He's trying to shout. Nobody's listening. He's shouting, he's shouting. And then he's, he, he starts to feel himself freezing up. And with his last, with the last bits of strength in his finger, he writes, you know, in the ice on the wall, you know, his last words. And the legend has it that the man dies. The next morning, his co-workers find him. And of course, they are, you know, they're shocked. They're so, they, they, they can't believe that this man is dead. But what, what happened next is very interesting. They discover that the freezer was not even plugged on. It wasn't even plugged on. The man literally froze to death because he believed in his mind that he was freezing to death. And it's got in the, the, the story is really to illustrate the power of the mind. You know, the subconscious mind can physically affect our body. You can physically heal yourself with the subconscious mind. Who knows that to be true? I don't want people to think that maybe I've lost my mind. Maybe, 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 maybe I've been on, maybe I'm taking something, right? And I've just lost my mind. Like, can anyone back up what I'm saying, right? That this can actually heal you. That's how powerful this stuff is. So fear, anger, envy, resentment, it affects us. So guess what happens when, we're, when we have these emotions? Thank you. Some people have backed me up. When we, when, we have, when we have these feelings, guess what we do? We draw pictures of terrible, disappointing events in our minds. We're now thinking about these things in our minds. That's the worst thing that we can do. We're planting seeds of doubt or anger, whatever it may be. And we permit such events to become a reality when we think so, so systematically. One off, you might get away with it. Twice, you might get away with it. But when you systematically have this thought, you know, you systematically start thinking these negative thoughts, guess what happen? happens? This is what gets returned to you. So I'm going to teach you 
how to control the subconscious mind. I'm going to teach you techniques to help you be aware of the subconscious mind so that you can tap into it and use it to create the life that you want. You're going to learn how to neutralize negative thoughts. One of my superpowers is going to help you so much. Who's excited so far, by the way? Just put a two, two, two. If you're excited for me to give you these techniques. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, you can take it deeper to discover how it can help with recovery and healing. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to do that today. But if you take this deeper, imagine having the power. Imagine I've got the power to heal myself. Imagine I've got the power to recover. Imagine I've now got the power to create the future. Have you ever heard me say that in 2018, I created a man in my head called Des Finance? Has anyone ever heard me say that before? Guys, I did that before even getting to the fourth level of learning. It's You know, some of this stuff that I'm going to teach you today, you, you will already do. You already do because you've been taught or you might already do it because you just naturally do it. There are some things that we just naturally do. Like if you daydream a lot, you're actually visualizing. You might think you're daydreaming, but you're, you're using one of the tools. Okay. Um, I created a man in my head, not because anyone told me to do it, it was because I'm a fantasist. I created, when I was a broke school teacher, I created a man called Des Finance in my mind. And I spent five years growing to become that man. It was one of, it's one of the greatest tricks I've ever done was I became the man that I was consistently thinking about in my mind. I knew how he was going to walk. I, I didn't used to talk like this, by the way. If you ever want, if you ever bored and you want to see my growth, go to my Instagram, scroll right to the bottom and you will see me from when I was a school teacher right through to now. I've changed my voice. I've changed my appearance. I don't look the same. I've transformed. I'm a, I'm a living example of manifestation. I've transformed my bank account. I've transformed my life. Everything has changed. So that being said, guys, I want you to write this down. There is absolutely no reason why you cannot be rich or wealthy. Let's use the word wealthy. There is absolutely no reason why you cannot be wealthy, healthy, and young. Have you ever heard the saying, you're only as young as you feel? Who, who's heard that before? Guys, if I told you my age, you won't believe me. I'm 75 years old. I'm joking, I'm joking, <laughs> right? I'm joking, right? But I, I'm not, how I'm, I don't look my age. If I, guys, when I go to school in unions, I'm horrified. You know, who the hell are these old guys? Okay. I don't know who these guys are. I, I, I can't even hang around with people in their 40s anymore. Right? Like, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I'm joking, I'm joking, by the way. But guys, that being said, guys, you, you're, you're as young as you feel. That statement is such a throwaway statement. I don't think we actually catch the nugget there. We are as young as we feel. The reason why I'm looking so young is because I feel young. I fully buy in to all of this teaching. There is no reason not to, let me do a time check. There is no reason not to be rich, healthy, and young. You know, we are born to be healthy, happy, prosperous, and live in abundance. Who, who knows that, by the way? The poor one, if you agree with that. We are born to be healthy, happy, prosperous, and live in abundance. <laughs> if you didn't already know, let me be the one to tell you. We should consider it a fundamental law of life. Who agrees with me? Yes or yes? When we accept that health and success are the rules of life, we help the power of the subconscious to realize what we want. Well, I see the yeses. That's the most energetic I've seen in the chat box all evening. Okay. So I want you to write down this heading, guys, as we dive into the teaching. We're diving into the teaching now. Write this down. We are what we think. Or we are what we think about. Whatever you like. Let's write that down. We are what we think about. We are the sum total of what we've been thinking about. Have you ever wondered why someone's, why someone's lives, some people's, some, you ever wondered why some people live a happy and successful life while someone else is just satisfied with being mediocre? Right? Have you ever wondered? If I wonder if you've ever wondered that. Why come some people, some people are living happy, successful lives, and some people are just happy. Do you know, some people are just happy to just play it safe. You know, some people, they, they, they don't want to rock the boat, right? Things are good. Like, they're okay. I, I don't want to rock the boat. But we're the, we're the risk takers in life. We've got something in common, right? We're those people who are willing to throw the dice, take a risk, 
right? You've, you've risked your time today. You've risked that 150 to join economy, right? We're constantly willing to risk for something better. Who's in that camp? Put a two if you're in that camp, right? You're willing. Some people, they're not willing to do that. That's why you have to applaud yourselves. You're here on, you know, being on this call is not a coincidence, by the way. You, you know that, right? Everything has happened for you to be on this call, listening to my voice right now. Even if you leave this call and you only study Bob Proctor and you ignore everything I've said, I've done my job. I've absolutely done my job. Right? So why? Why is it? Some people are just happy. They don't want to rock the boat. Success and wealth do not depend on education level or place of work. It, the reason for it lies in the way of thinking. Have you ever heard of, of a story of a millionaire that loses it all and makes it all back? Put a one in the chat book if you ever heard of someone like that. They, they lose it all and they're not even worried. They're like, no worries. It's because it's never about the money. It's never about the money, honey. It's about the mindset. Once you have a mindset, do you know no one can take it away from you? So, you know, I, I've been, I've been, I've been robbed before, right? My Range Rover was broken into twice last, no, once last year, once when we were on tour, right? My car got broken into. I lost so much stuff. It's my fault. I, I take responsibility for everything that goes wrong in my life, by the way. Right? But guess what? You can take my car. You can take all my possessions. You can take my house. You can even you, you, you can even take my wife, right? <laughs> okay. I, I wouldn't want that to happen, right? But you could do that, right? But you can never take my mindset. It's the most precious thing that you are gonna have. And what and how we think determines our reality. Like luck and success, failure is a natural result of habitual thinking. Absolutely. You know, I didn't even tell you what I heard in um, what I heard in um, Mexico, Cancun at the convention. The speaker, the speaker said this and, you know, I'm going to say it now and it probably won't hit. It probably won't hit what he said, but it hit me in a certain way. And there's a reason why it hit me in a certain way. And that's because of the journey I've been on. But he said that he lives by a phrase that guides him so well. And that phrase is this. It's so simple. It won't. Not everyone's going to catch it, but some will, some won't, but it's okay. This is the phrase he said he lives by. He said, everything in his life is good. He said he lives by that. Everything in his life is good. Or should I say, he tells himself that everything in his life is good. And I'm going to expand on that as I get towards the end of my training. And have no fear, I'm aiming to finish on the hour on the dock. So try to look around and realize the connection between what you thought yesterday and what surrounds you today. It is our mind that creates what is around us. Your house, your job, the person next to you, it's all been created, you've created it all. Of course, it doesn't mean that every thought creates a new reality. It doesn't mean that you can just sit on the edge of your sofa and then just go, I, I want, uh, you know, I wanna be, I wanna be rich and healthy and it just happens. Of course, it doesn't happen like that, okay? Potentially, it has such a capacity, but it's the regular, it's the regular reg uh, reg regularity, and the repetition that matters most. I want you to underline repetition. It's when we repeatedly, when we repeatedly do the actions that I'm going to teach you today, is when it really starts to work. So you can't just do it once. You can't just lay on on your bed, look into the sky, and wish things into your life. That's why people think it's mumbo jumbo. Because it's not that. If we consistently, the operative word is consistently. If we consistently think that we will be fired from work without objective reasons, we will naturally receive the corresponding result. Believe you me. We may even think we predicted this event, but in reality, we created it through the power of the subconscious. The subconscious mind responded to the conscious thoughts and fulfilled the request. You see, our thoughts have started this process. We were thinking, I'm going to be fired. Oh my God, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to... We're planting seeds of doubt. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? We're planting seeds of doubt. 
We can choose the life we want by realizing the creation. We can choose the life we want by realizing the creative power of thought and the importance of the subconscious mind in creating that reality. So thoughts not only make our reality, but also shape our personality. What we think ultimately affects our daily mood, our character. We realize that by changing how we think, we can change ourselves and the conditions in which we exist. Put a one in the chat box if that sounds good to you. If that sounds good to you. We can be as prosperous and as happy as we imagine and we can envision endlessly. Moreover, our thoughts affect the state of our health and even the speed of the aging process. You certainly know of people who learn new things and are full of vitality well into their old age. I could think of so many examples, but one is Vera Wang. Okay, at 73, she still is making elegant outfits. She doesn't look her age at all. Thanks to the belief in our strength and the ability of our subconscious mind to change our reality, we can have absolutely everything. But fundamental to this belief is that this is absolutely true. If you don't believe this to be true, it will not work. Trust me when I say that. You have to believe this to be true. Don't get me started on the power of belief. Those of you that really want to go to the next level, write down a book called The Magic of Believing by Claude M. Bristol. Thank me later. Guys, I'm giving you too much today. I'm giving you way too much. Way too much. Way, way too much. Claude M. Bristol. Thank me later. Thank me later. It will not work. So let me remind you what I said earlier. Let me remind you. The conscious commands and the subconscious does what? Who was listening? The conscious commands. What does the subconscious do? Br brownie points. Who was listening? The conscious mind commands, thank you, the subconscious implements. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Well, these are all my top students, by the way. These are all my top students. These are all my top students. So let's get into the nitty gritty. <laughs> the conscious and the subconscious are closely connected. They are the whole mechanism we can adjust for our good. And that is the power. Let me say that one more time for the people at the back. The conscious and the subconscious are closely connected. And the whole thing, we can adjust for our good. That is my secret power. I know how to use my conscious to, to give instructions to the subconscious and the subconscious implements it. Everything begins from the moment when the thought is born in our minds that's when it begins. Let me give you an example, right? Imagine how wonderful, my partner always says, my partner always says that one day she'd like to live by the sea, right? So I want you to imagine how wonderful it will be to have a house by the sea. I'm a Pisces and an Aquarian, by the way. I'm on a cusp, right? My birthday's on a cusp, so I love, I love water, okay? So this is, this is an easy sell for me. I love being by the sea. I play sea sounds as I'm going to sleep. How, imagine how wonderful it will be to have a house by the sea. From this moment, the thought begins its life. We may decide, um, we may decide that the idea is unrealistic because we currently have no money. You see what a lot of people do is they're so concerned with their present circumstances. And that's where we go wrong. Yes or yes. We get too caught up in the, what you see. Forget about what you see. Guys, when I was a broke school teacher, I had to not see when I was broke and I was saying, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning $10,000 a month because that was my first goal. I was broke, but I had to, I, I couldn't, I could, I had to forget what I could, I had to forget the bills. I had to forget the overdraft. I had to forget the, the bailiffs at the door. I had to forget all of that. When Premium Bells was in his prison cell with no money, he called me to get advice on what he could do when he came out. These times I was a six figure in income earner. Premium Bells had nothing. He wrote on a piece of paper, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning a hundred thousand dollars a month. How dare he? He's got nothing. 
He's been convicted. He's in prison. But the power of the subconscious mind is he planted a seed that said, I will earn despite my circumstances, despite these four walls. I'm going to be earning $100,000 a month. Someone in the chat tell me how much Freeman Bell is earning right now. Fast forward a few, uh, uh, what, two, three years. And, and you guys want to play with your subconscious mind? He's earning 100 k a month, which is 1 million a year. If somebody can come out of prison with nothing, follow a simple game plan and get to 100 k a month, wh wh why can't we? Someone ask me that, please. <laughs> why can't we? Is Bell special? Is he super educated? Has he was Bell's born with a silver spoon in his mouth? So why? It's because when he was in prison, he tapped into his subconscious. He did so much personal development. He was good to go. He was absolutely good to go. Okay, so let's go back to the seaside. So sometimes guys get a bit carried away. I apologize. I've got twelve minutes. I'm going to wrap this up. We're imagining to have this house by the sea, okay? But we, we start to say, oh, it's unrealistic because we have no money and no prospects of earning enough to afford this dream. We start to block this thought by focusing on the fact that we cannot have a house by the sea. We're now sad and disappointed and the subconscious mind receives a signal and then multiplies and this manifests as unfulfilled dreams, sadness and disappointment. We did that because we didn't believe. We didn't believe to achieve. The subconscious mind doesn't know if you're lying or telling the truth. That's what Bob was trying to tell me when he came to East London in 2020. It doesn't know. We can lie to our subconscious mind. And if we believe that, I'm going to tell you how to do this because it might sound difficult to lie to your subconscious mind. I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. And it's going to be up to you whether you do this or not. You see, the subconscious mind doesn't have the power to rule out thought and idea, but it can materialize them. The subconscious mind implements what we consciously focus on bringing to life, good or bad. If you sow good, you'll get good. If you sow bad, you will get bad. It doesn't matter to the subjective mind what to implement. It will fulfill any order of consciousness. Therefore, we should be careful with what we think. This. Thank you. Thank you, iPhone. This subconscious part accepts everything without argument. Oh, you want to be moody? Okay. Oh, 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 moody it is. <laughs> oh, we're happy today. Oh, okay. Oh, happy it is. Right? Who's with me? That's why it's important to... Ch Guys, you can't play with me when it comes to my thoughts. Negative people, please. I Guys, Shannon is one of the most ruthless people I've ever seen on a 90-day run. Shannon, Shannon, Sh don't listen. Shannon will call me and say, I need to get rid of this one, this one, and this one before I start my... Because I don't want no negativity around me. I say, Shannon. I look at the names, I'm like, right, should we that, that one as well? Oh, wow. Wow. I've seen her cut besties, and I mean besties. Like, that she's that is crazy. She's ruthless. You know, I'm a little bit like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them at arm's length. Shannon's like, nope, they're gonna go, right? Because she understands what happens. After all, if we focus on that dream house, but not on the fact that we cannot have it, we will get a we will get a place, but not the inability to have something. The subconscious mind's task is to filter the appearing thoughts, the, sorry, the, conscious, the conscious mind's task is to filter the appearing thoughts and ideas. The subconscious mind's mission is to implement thoughts that will bring about more happiness. And we have the power to give the subconscious the request that we need. So let's do it right. For example, repeat several times. I want you to write this down. Repeat this several times today. I have everything thanks to the power of the subconscious. I am decisive and motivated. I'm going to put it in the chat. I'm going to put it in the chat right now.
come out a bit weird. So, like, I've said it anyway. Okay, I've said it anyway. I have everything thanks to the power of the subconscious. I am decisive and motivated. This phrase, you could be doing this phrase using meditation. You can use this as meditation, but it will be used to attract good experiences. A positive result won't take long if we if you synchronize your consciousness and subconsciousness and unite them with a common goal. You're giving instructions to your subconscious mind. Did you know that 30% of time, 30% of time, your brain only wanders in the subconscious and doesn't focus on anything? So how can you get in touch with your subconscious mind? Okay. How can you get in touch? Now I'm going to show you how to get in touch with your subconscious mind. First of all, you need to have an understanding that the subconscious can give us everything we ask. You need to know that to be true. You need to believe the subconscious can give you everything. You need to understand that the possibilities are unlimited by time or space. Now, there are three states in which we can easily connect to the subconscious mind. If I go over by five minutes, will anyone be upset? Just put a one in the chat box if you'll be upset. Just put a one if you'll be upset. If I go over like by five minutes, because I really want to give you the power, would anyone be upset? Will anyone throw a tomato at me? Will anyone unfriend me on, on IG? Please don't. <laughs> I didn't know the friends I could get. I don't want to lose any friends. I want us to stay friends. But I might go over by five minutes. Okay? But it's good stuff. It's good stuff, guys. I promise you it's good stuff. Okay. Let me give you the three states. Okay? There are three states in which you can easily connect to. Who wants to know these states, by the way? Put a two, two, two. If you want to know these states. Ah, okay. Gareth wants to know, so that's cool. As long as Gareth wants to know, I'm happy. Sydney wants to know. Gosha wants to know. I've got that as a private message. She really wants to know. A hundred gang wants to know. Shiro wants to know. M wants to know. Okay. State number one. It's the state of relaxation. Right? So those of you that meditate, I went to Champneys, um, in Tring. When did I go? I went, what day is it today? I've got lost track of the days. I went on Friday. I went on Friday. And I did, I did yoga. I haven't done yoga in such a long time. I meditated. You know? It was, it was nice. So be relaxed. The state of being almost asleep. What does that tell us? There's certain things we can do when we're just about to go to sleep. The state of almost being awake. These two states, each of these conditions, relaxation, almost asleep, almost awake. I want to check how many people on the Zoom to see how many people drop off after the hour. I don't want anyone to drop off. So we've got 47 people on the Zoom. Wow, wow, wow. I don't want any drop. I don't, I don't want no one to drop off. This is too good. It's too valuable. I'm sorry. The state of relaxation, the state of almost being asleep, the state of being almost awake. Each of these conditions involves a low activity of consciousness and the thought process. Therefore, they are ideal for applying the techniques I'm going to show you of working with the subconscious. They're ideal. Relaxation, almost asleep, almost awake. Okay. There is more than one way to connect with the subconscious mind and convince it to work for you. The first one involves active use of imagination. Who is imaginative, by the way? Put a two in the chat. Guys, I'm a dreamer. I could be walking to the station and I will have the most wonderful, wonderful thoughts. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I didn't know. I just thought I was a dreamer. I didn't know I was manifested. I've been dreaming about this life since I was about six, seven years old. I, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. I grew up in East London, in Barking and Dagenham, you know, single parent family. We never had much. And when you don't have much, all you do have are dreams, right? You're just dreaming of like better days. You're dreaming of giving your mom the best. You're dreaming of one day having a family and giving them the best. Can anyone relate to what I'm saying? Put a four if you can relate to what I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't grow up with wealth, guys. You know? I didn't grow up with wealth. I could only dream of this. Active use of your imagination. Don't be afraid to dream, to think of what your life 
can be like. So try to draw a picture in your mind of what you want. Draw it in your mind. Guys, I'm giving you one of the most powerful tools. I draw mental pictures in my mind of the life that I want. I used to dream, I used to think about me walking on stage, giving trainings before I was just in the crowd watching um, the equivalent of icons in our first company. I used to watch them on the stage thinking one day that will be me. One day I'll be speaking on stage. I used to picture it in my mind. You know, I used to picture um, what my bank account would look like. Try to draw that picture in your mind. Picture your dream job. Trip through your, 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 your new car. Or long-awaited holiday, or or, or 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 a meeting with your soulmate. You know you can think about your dream guy now. You can think about your dream woman, right? We're manifesting. It will work even more effectively if you make these pictures move and scroll in your imagination like a movie where you are the main character. This is called the mental movie method wow 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 if i mention something and you think oh this is this is amazing i love this well guess what you can go off and do a deeper dive right you can go right now and go not now but you can go into youtube and type mental movie method and start doing this because i i can't go into detail because I've, I've got limited time right it's called the mental movie method it's very powerful the second way is to formulate your desire or aspiration in a in a short sentence and systematically repeat it three to four times before going to sleep. Guys, I know some of you know this, but are you doing it? Here's my rules. If you know, if I say something and you've heard it before, I want you to ask yourself, am I doing it? And guess what? If you're doing it, ask yourself, am I doing it consistently? So put a one if you're doing this stuff already. If you're, if you're reading short sentences systematically, right? If you're doing it already, but then ask yourself, am I doing it consistently? Then the last stage is, am I teaching this? Because the best way to master something is to teach it. So guess what? I teach this to my kids. I teach this to my relatives. I'm teaching it to you. Because by teaching it, it's going deeper. Oh, as a teacher, let me give you the best way to master something is to teach it. If you're learning how to trade, why don't you teach someone how to trade? That way, you're going to learn it even more effectively. I've just given you a nugget. I've just given you a free nugget. I've just given you a free nugget. Okay? So let me show you. So look, you guys, I can't even make this up. I know I've got a, a background thing. Oh, someone wanted me to repeat something. I'll do that. Look, I know I've got a background thing, but look at my phone. Let me plug my laptop in as well. Right, this is my phone. I'm taking out the back of my phone to reveal my got my goal card that I read every day. I don't, I practice what I preach. Oh, I took it out for a training. <laughs> I took it out for a training, but it's right here. In case I do take it out, it's on my thing right here. I'm so happy and grateful now. Why don't write, write this down? I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning. Fill in the blanks. I, I'll read my one. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning 100 thousand dollars a month by december the 31st 2024 i'm so happy and grateful now the reason why i'm happy and grateful now is because i'm celebrating it like it's already done it's one of the powers of manifestation it's done somebody write it's done in the chat box it's done it's done and time just needs to catch up that's it that's how your mindset needs to be. It's done. We don't, we don't, we're not worried about things in, in this platform. Once you have that belief, you've got the systems, we've got the tools, we've got the training. So it's done. It's absolutely done. I'm so happy and grateful now, fill in the blanks, that I am. That I am earning XXX by XXX date. The second way is to formulate your desire. I'm going to read it again. Somebody said read it again. The second way is to formulate your desire or aspiration in a short sentence and systematically repeat it three to four times before going to sleep. So, for example, a really si another simple one is I, uh, for example, I have support in all my endeavors. The universe cares about me. 
or anything, any sentence that you want, anything that you want, anything. I like, I'm happy and grateful now because you're killing so many birds with one stone. You're being grateful. You've got the sentence. You're, you're, you're manifesting it. So it's powerful. Another technique is to perceive your desire as something that already exists, right? So I killed two birds with one stone there. You have to perceive your desire. Guys, the house that you desire, you have to perceive it like it already exists. For example, if you already live, you, you, have, to, you have to visualize like you're already living in your dream house. Talk about your goal in the present tense. Guys, guess what? You're going to look crazy. Sometimes I do this stuff in the mirror. You look crazy. I want you to write this down. Crazy people make crazy money. Crazy people make crazy money. Yeah, people will laugh and so on. You know, you've got these aff affirmations and stuff that you're doing. Guess what? It's okay. We we're, not, we're not here for them. Talk about your goal in the present sense. This method closely relates to imagination and it's necessary to imagine specific details such as your, the, 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 the color of your roof of the car um, or the house or, or the window, the window shape. The, the 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 chimney and it's also equally important to feel the happiness the joy the fulfillment and the gratitude that happens when a dream house has already come true how are you going to feel you're going to feel happy you're going to feel joy you got you got to be in touch with all of those feelings as well and the feeling of gratitude is another way of connecting with the subconscious and it's one more key in making a wish come true. You're grateful. You're happy and grateful that this thing has already happened. When we feel grateful for what we don't have, we request our subconscious to make it real. Remember that the tension, remember that tension and stubbornness block the subconscious. We need to believe in the infinite possibilities of the subconscious mind. And one other thing I want you to, to leave with today is that the thoughts of others have no power to influence our lives. Who agrees with that statement, by the way? Put a one. The thoughts of others have no influence in our lives. You guys have... Listen, it's not my business what you think of me. <laughs> it's not my business. It's not my business. Sometimes we attach too much importance to people's words and it can, it can have an effect on our self-confidence. This can be due, due to our self-doubt and it often harms our lives. Trusting adults and accepting their opinion as truth in childhood has ruined so many of us. It's natural to do this, by the way. You've not done anything wrong. Do you know you're still holding on to things that you were told when you were a child? Put a one in the chat box if, if I'm hitting. If I'm hitting you right now, put a one in the chat box. If I'm hitting, if I'm hitting. You know, there's certain things that you were told as a child and you still believe it to this day. I was told certain things, you know. I was told certain things. I won't get the detail now, but I was told certain things and I held on to it. I, I, I believed it to be true. And I made up stuff in my head. Sometimes we make our own things up, right? I thought that I could not become an entrepreneur because there are no entrepreneurs in my family. None. I come from a long line of, of doctors. My dad was a doctor. My granddad was a doctor. My mum... My mom was a nurse. She married a doctor. She thought I was going to be a doctor because her dad was a doctor. Her husband's a doctor. It broke her heart when I said I didn't want to be, be a doctor. I had two career choices. Either become a doctor or become a doctor. Right? So becoming an entrepreneur, I said, there's no one in our family. Everyone in our family are doctors or professors or, you know, accountants. There's no entrepreneurs. So I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I could do it. Trusting adults and accepting their opinion as truth in childhood is natural but detrimental. But now we're old enough to rely on our own thoughts and beliefs. We have the power to resist the opinions and views of others. For example, when someone says that we are insecure or we radiate insecurity, we may dismiss the thought or react. But this thought will have creative power only if we allow it. So it all depends on our answer to it, how we respond. And sometimes it is difficult. Um, it's difficult to bear when the, when the opinion concerns our fears. And someone says something, it concerns our fears. However, auto-suggestion 
is a method of dealing with our fears and negative states. Write that down. I'm going to end with auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion. Fear and anxiety makes us accept an outside opinion on a mental level and believe in its power. Do you know our brains have been wired, right? For most of us, it's for the first half of our lives. Our brains have been wired through our environment, through what we've been taking in. And we now need to rewire. We need to rewire our minds. We need to reprogram our minds. That's the power that we have. So to apply auto-suggestion, we need to find a quiet place, relax the body to contact the subconscious. Remember that relaxed place? We said relaxation. Remember I said that? Okay. And repeat what we are trying to convince ourselves. For example, okay, my son, he's one of the best artists that I've ever seen. I got him to repeat. I draw very well and people admire my work. I'm confident in my talent. My son plays the piano. He plays so many instruments. He acts, he sings, right? And this is, guys, you, you do realize we can do this with our children, right? Be very careful with how we speak to our children. You know, we, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. We can either speak life into our children or, right. I draw very well. I get him to write this down. I draw very well. Guess what? He's telling his subconscious, I draw very well. Right? If I'm trying to correct him, rather than saying the negative, I'll frame it in the positive. You know? So he, he, I used to struggle with this guy putting the toilet. I don't understand why young like, little boys can't just lift up the toilet seat when they go to the toilet, right? So I go to repeat. I, I, I always lift up the toilet seat rather than telling him off. Try that. Of course, everyone will formulate this phrase according to their unique request. Okay? You need to have phrases that you can repeat. And as a result of the systematic repetition, that's the key phrase, the systematic repetition, we will feel more confident in our abilities. It's natural. You're repeating something to your subconscious. Guess what the subconscious is going to do? Oh, okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, no problem. Well, just goes off, he just gets off to work. <laughs> Whatever you feed your subconscious, he just gets to work. Okay, no problem. But you have to believe it to be true. If you don't believe it to be true, it's not going to work. I'm giving you my superpower. When someone says something is wrong with us, these words will not penetrate our subconscious because self-belief will replace our fear. We can reject any thought suggested to us and keep it out of our subconscious mind. We can reject it and keep it out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Guys, do you know how, how, how protective I am over, 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 my, over my subconscious mind? I'm so protective. Don't plant anything in my subconscious mind. Me and you will fall out. And I don't want to fall out with y'all. So please, I'm very protective of it. I take this stuff so seriously, guys. Only we give strength to other people's ideas. We give strength to other people's ideas. We can choose whether to accept the views of others or reject. The opportunity to choose strength is our freedom. We can pick out what to think and what to desire. Wow. Is anyone inspired by this, by the way? Just put a one in the chat box if this is hitting. We have the power to do this. Moreover, we can adjust and change every choice with the help of the subconscious mind. This stuff is so powerful. I'm actually wrapping up now, guys. I'm actually wrapping up. Parents, please, please be careful how you talk to your kids. I had to tell myself off. I used to say, you know, out of anger. Sometimes we can be angry. We can say things. Of course, I'm guilty of that. But you've got to check yourself. What am I saying? What is he hearing? What's she hearing? What's going into their subconscious? Have you ever said to your child, oh, you, you know, you won't amount to anything? Never say that. You're stupid. You're lazy. What are you planting in their minds? Guys, we can't do this. Don't feel bad now. Just change. Somebody write, I'm changing in the chat box. That's all it is. We, 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 we just have to change. It's like a decision to say, you know what? Guys, let me tell you something. One of my mentors, David, and if I say David, everyone will know who I mean. He, he, earns, over a, he earns over a million a month, right? He used to teach us this, this stuff, and, and I never used to do it. I wasn't doing it. And then one day I had to have a hard conversation with him. Have you ever had a hard conversation with yourself? 
I had one with myself and I said, Des, your bank account's not looking very good. And this guy is telling you to do X, Y, and Z and you're not doing it consistently. Why not? And I had to have that hard conversation. And I said, I actually don't know why not. <laughs> this guy earns a million a month. He's telling me to do something that's so simple to do, but also so simple not to do. I'm choosing not to do it. Why? So guess what I did? I said, you know what, Des? Should we just do it? <laughs> Should we just do it consistently? And that's when everything changed, right? So you just have to change. That's all it is. It's just the decision. Change. So let me wrap up now, guys, because I want to respect your time. How do I use this as my superpower? I want you to know something to be true because I'm going to do it when, when I think I'm back next week, right? I'm back next week. But when I'm back after that, I'm going to do a training on how to cope with challenges, setbacks and storms. Who would like that training, by the way? Put a one if you'd like me to do a training on how to deal with challenges, setbacks and storms. Who would like that training? Just put a one if you'd like that training. It's one of my best trainings. It's actually absolutely phenomenal. It's life changing. OK, do you, do you notice that I always start my trainings by saying it's absolutely phenomenal and it's and it's one of the best trainings I've ever done? That's because I'm telling my subconscious mind that it's absolutely amazing and it's going to be one of the best trainings. So by me saying that, I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting it. And guess what happens? My trainings are amazing. and They're absolutely phenomenal. Guys, I live this stuff. Right. But do you know what I really want to say? I want you before I've not even done the training on challenges, setbacks and storms. But can I just give you something to be true? Everything in your life is good, including the challenges, the setbacks and the storms. I'm not going to get too religious, but I'm too, um, um, you know, um, Bible right now. But in James chapter one, verse two, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials and tribulations of any kind. What do we glean from that? What we glean from that is that challenges, setbacks and storms are working for our good. Yes or yes. Put one in the chat box if you agree. If you know this to be true, if you really want to tap into the power of manifestation, I want you to know that everything that you go through, whether it's good or bad, is good. <laughs> right. Remember that speaker said everything in my life is good. If you have the mindset that everything is working together for your good. I promise you, your whole life will change. You won't dwell on things. My partner would tell you, I don't dwell on things. I do not dwell on things at all. I cannot live there, right? So now that, now that you know that to be true, right? Know that I can do this. I turn everything into a positive. Anything that goes wrong is a positive. I could lose half of my business and not be an icon anymore. I will be devastated. Did I tell you that I won't be devastated? Of course, I'm going to be devastated. But I won't live there for too long. I'll turn it into a positive. Maybe those people are not right for my business. Maybe those people are not right for my business. Okay? I have to lie to my subconscious. If I'm stuck in traffic, it's good. It means that I'm not caught up in an accident. So I'm happy and grateful that I'm here and not in that traffic. If I lose money, it's good for whatever reason. Maybe I need to be humble. Maybe I need to look at different opportunities. If I lose my job, maybe um, God wants me to, to, to go somewhere else and to develop somewhere else. If I lose my house, I need to be, God is shifting me. He needs, I lie to myself, but I believe it. And that's how I use the superpower. Anything is a silver line. It could be a silver lining. It could be a secret blessing. It could be a lesson. I, I could be being used to help somebody else. Use it. I use it to bring about what I want. I plant things in there. I use affirmations, visualizations. Okay. I, I play my affirmations every Single day. I'm just going to play a little snippet for you right now. My Y, 21, age 90, in 1981 at potential affirmations. I am a leader of leaders. I am a leader magnet. People who have big goals want to work with I, me. I repeat it back after I am the best presenter. I'm the best presenter. I am the best at speaking. I'm the best at speaking, speaking in public. I am an expert in the skill of I'm personal I am an expert in the skill of personal development. I am the leading voice. I'm the leading voice in stock options trading. I need the number, I need the number one lifestyle. lifestyle. You get the gist. You know, even my son has affirmations. My baby son, you he's not even six months. You are Aiden the Great. 
You are Aiden the Great. You are powerful. You are strong. You are beautiful. He's not even six months. You are he listens to this every single day. He gets so excited. It's crazy. You can do anything you put your mind to. You have already changed the world. I use this to bring about whatever I want. Okay? I can turn things around. I plant things in there. I use affirmations, visualizations. You know, I can put things in my mind. I can create pictures in my mind. I've got a vision board. I can drive, I drive to places that I want to move to next. You know, I want to move to an another neighborhood. I drive to that neighborhood and I visualize the house. Just the other day, we were going to David Lloyd's and I always go to the David Lloyd's near the house that I want to buy next. And I point it out to my partner. I say, that's the kind of house we're going to have next. I'm being grateful. I practice gratitude each and every single day. So start reprogramming your mind now. Start rewiring your mind now. And guys, tune in next week where I'm going to give you a personal development plan. Who's excited for that, by the way? Put a 111 in the chat box. And if you got value from this call, put a 444. The recording will be available very soon. I have to go because I've actually got another Zoom call that I forgot all about. Um, those of you who, who's a 500 and above, remember we've got our leadership call with Premium Bells right now. So we need to hop over there right now. But guys, if you got value from this call, show some love in the chat box. I'm going to end it very, very, very shortly. I appreciate each and every single one of you for staying on until the very, very end. Um, definitely held the numbers, which is great. And guys, start using this. Don't come on this call and leave the same person. Even if you know this stuff, even if you're saying to yourself, oh, I already knew that stuff, but are you doing it? Are you really doing it? Are you doing it consistently? Can you teach it? And on that note, guys, it's been an honor and a privilege. I'm back next week. Same time, same place. It's an honor. I'll see you at the top. Take care and God bless you all. Take care, guys. All the very best. Enjoy your evening. Take care and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My IG handle is on my name, at Des Finance. Let's be friends. Connect with me. Um, and let's make it happen. Take care, guys, and all the best. I'll see you at the very top and on the other side of success.